Well, good morning everyone. This is Woodcraft by Scott, otherwise known as Iggy. I almost forgot to start filming this morning. It is exactly 4.59 a.m. Saturday morning, I have arrived at Lazy Days. There are 350 vendors for this event. And out of those 350, about 300 of them were allowed to set up Friday night. However, because of my location, I was not allowed to set up until this morning. So, here I am. We were allowed to start at 5. I got here, I unloaded the Jeep, got all of my goodies out, and I'm starting to get set up. So what I plan on doing is making a few of these smaller clips and I'll piece them all together. Hopefully it'll be rather seamless and you will see the magic that is my tent. Talk to you soon. All right, so in the first 10 minutes, I'm able to get the tent and the tables up. The only reason I did this clip is I wanted to show you my riser stands. The way I built them, they are stair step and I actually have three of them, three different lengths. 24 inch, 30, and 36. And I'm actually able to bundle them up in a way to make it much easier to transport. So I just wanted to show that real quick before I unbundled them. I also have a couple of small three puzzle stands that I use generally for the end of the table so that as people are walking by, they're able to see some of the items I put out, the most popular items, usually unicorn, rescue dog, and uh, back home I do the sea turtle. But there are the three stands. I'm actually setting my tent up today uh, different than normal. At the farmer's market, I have the luxury of not having anybody on either side of me and I can set up in a U shape to allow people to come up to three sides of the tent. Here, I'm actually going to have people on both sides of me, right up against me. So, I came up with this table design that allows people to come in, walk up and down both sides, both aisles, if you will, and see everything and allow space for more than just a couple of people. I hope this brings them in. I will report back shortly. All right, so in this clip, real quick, I just wanted to show and remind again that I'm setting up a little bit different this time. I've never done it, so I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to lay things out, where I want to place the particular types of animals. Decided I want my dogs front and center, so they're going to be here. I decided to put my low-priced items, which are my kids' puzzles, in the back, make them come in for those. But the main reason for this short clip is I wanted to show how I transport my puzzles for shows. I put them in layers on cardboard in this one bin. I can get about 110 to 120 in there, and that's usually about all I display other than the kids' puzzles. So next step is now to get everything set up. Uh, it's still dark out. It's 6 o'clock. I did make a run for some food. I'm all set. All right, so it is 6.45, still progressing, coming along. I've got everything out. Honestly, I'm not too crazy about the layout of the various animals, but it's the best I can do for right now. I'll give it some more thought. I just wanted to point out a couple of things. Again, I've got two little displays on the front showing off the more popular items to get people to come in. I decided to go with the dogs front and center. They are my best seller. On the other side, I've got the various zoo and farm animal collection, as I like to refer to it, along with three dinosaurs. I then get into the sea and beach critters. I have made some musical instruments, but I've never tried to sell them before. I've never displayed them. Decided to bring them, give them a shot. Cats, horses, and then the kids' puzzles. Two things I wanted to point out. With the displays on the front, uh, strap them down. I'm used to being at the beach where it's windy, so it's always a good idea. Anywhere else, it's just going to stop people from knocking them over. The other thing I wanted to point out, and this was a lesson learned, it took me a year to figure this one out. I used to put just various dogs out on display and a bunch of them on the riser. And what I realized was that everybody came up first, and this is, I can't stress enough, watch your customers, learn from them, see what their uh, tendencies are, and design accordingly. 
I realized that most people started here at the ones that they could read easily, so I put the more popular breeds now on display flat. I then put all of the other breeds on the riser, and I put them alphabetical order. Helps find them much quickly, uh, much more quicker. It was just uh, crazy. So I also put the pug out. I leave it unassembled. People love to touch it and play with it. It's a simple five piece, so uh, it's simple for even the children to put together. The kids' puzzles, I'm still gonna lay these out a little bit different. I wanna show off uh, the fact that you can paint them yourself using just basic watercolors. And we're just gonna keep going. I still got a lot of work ahead of me for the next hour. But things are looking good. See you soon. All right, well, it's a uh, quarter to eight, and I'm about as set up as I think I'm going to get. Kept things pretty much as I had shown earlier. Folks can walk in on either side, make their rounds. Tell you what took the most time and lesson learned is next year, box them up in alphabetical order. I have about 500 sitting on the uh, tarp as duplicates. I've got my little sales area where I take people's money. Horses, cats, sea critters, zoo and farm. Pricing signs are out. And technically the event starts in about an hour. And just wait for folks to show up. I'll keep you posted. Good Sunday morning to you. I, things look a little bit different, I think. If you notice, I was able to rearrange my booth for the second day. The vendor that was next to me actually sold out yesterday. Uh, they were selling these cute little yard art items very inexpensively, five and ten dollars. They usually just come for a day, sell out, and go home. So I get the benefit in that I am able to rearrange my entire booth so that it's more like the way I do it at the farmer's market enabling customers to be able to walk up to my booth and around the perimeter. The setup that I had yesterday, which is you know very normal for a large event like this where booths are literally 10 foot by 10 foot right up against each other, I find that clients, uh, customers do not like to step inside of booths, and, but there's no way around it. Sales yesterday were good, they were not great. I had an expectation of 150 puzzles, I sold 93. So still a good day, plenty of uh, money in my pocket, all is well. But I got here early this morning, it's only 9 o'clock. We don't officially open till 12.30 for the day. And I'm rearranging everything, I still need to level my tables, but I got things set up roughly the way I want them. Just wanted to provide an update, and I will talk to you soon. All right, so it's a little after 10 o'clock on day two. I've been doing some rearranging. I'm happier with the way things are. Just as a quick recap, day one went well. Not as well as expected or hoped, but still well enough. And today I got to rearrange my entire booth because my neighbors are gone. And I was able to move my duplicates, and I've got them covered up just to protect them from the sun. The bulk of my duplicates are now here. I got the rest of them under the tarp. The rest of my setup, and this is from the inside obviously. Kids, toys, horses, zoo animals, sea creatures, dogs. And the dogs go all the way around to here. So I'm now uh, virtually three-sided. Uh, this is the way I prefer it. And what I'm thinking is that in the future, I'm pretty much just going to start renting two booths. It would be worth the extra cost to me. Uh, at an event like this, which is rather expensive, uh, $250 per booth, I would have to sell just an extra 10 puzzles to pay for that, and I think it would more than cover the expense uh, with additional sales. So, we're going to have to see. I'll probably test it out on a couple of smaller events first and see how that goes. But from the perimeter, people can now come up to my booth. They can now see everything at once. I had to do a makeshift attachment of my unicorn poster for this. I did not have a way to mount it to the table. But I am much happier today with this, and we'll see if it turns into additional sales. Talk to you again soon.